In a previous video, I showed you how to use the rest destination very simply, which is you take a row from the input and for each row of data, an execution occurs. Well, this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a little more complex. And, and what this means is that if you have data that you need to build up, for instance, you need to build up 200 rows of data first and then execute the rest destination, this is sort of how you can do that. Now, the way that we're set up here is that we have two inputs or two flat files with a couple of rows apiece. You can see them here, all right? And all they're gonna do is match uh, inside of here. So what we're doing is we're, we're kind of emulating, building up some data from two different sources. And then what we're gonna do is pack that data up inside of here. This is our pack data. And so if you see how it works is that we have an input and then we have updates. And so this is the data from the left this is the data from the right, it matches up and we'll get two rows out of that, but what we'll have is some sub data that is part of the two rows from the left side over here, this one here. And so when that comes out, we're gonna run through data conversion and the reason we're doing that is just because we wanna see, I wanna show you the data when it comes out of there. And then finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it sent to the rest destination and we're gonna get two executions. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead and see how that's set up as well. And once you look at this, just like before, what we have here is a very simple endpoint. Uh, we're just posting it at data to HTTP bin, but here's where it's, it's kind of important. So what we're doing in this case is for the post data is we're just taking the packed column data from the transform, the packed data transform, and we're just simply setting it to the post body. So when this executes, we're gonna take that packed up data push it into the post body and then execute. So it's pretty cool how you can just set everything up before, use a single column coming in and it executes the post. And again, just to remind you, if you don't remember what the column name is, you can simply type in that and it will show you all of the, so you have two left curly braces and it will show you all of the columns. And if you need to use a variable, use the left angle bracket ampersign and you get all the variables to show up. All right, and that works here and in the post data. All right, or sorry, the endpoint URL. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give this a run. All right, so we see what we have coming out of that is this is where we got the two rows from. So the left flat file source over had two rows, and then we had four rows coming out of here, but what we ended up getting was this packed data. So what we'll see is we'll have the first Sorry, I'm gonna move this over. And so we have this, and then we have two updates in each one of these um, uh, child elements of, or child objects of the JSON. So we see it's all packed up there just fine. And so we're going to close that. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna get two posts sent out to HTTP bin. And then we see this is all the data that went in. This is the results that came back after it executed. So if we, if we take a look at that, well, I'm not gonna be able to, here, let me just expand that out. So if we take a look at that, what we'll see is the data right here, this data is the actual post data that was sent to HTTP bin. And we can see all of our headers here. Here's some headers that we set up. And that's really it. So we have both the simple way of, of sending data to a REST destination or a REST API. And then we have a more complex way that if you need to build up data beforehand, you can build it up in a pack transform or you can build it up any, any way you want and then set it to an input column or an output column you can in a, in a script source or a script transform rather. Um, or you can set it up to where you're building up a variable and then you're going to use the variable inside of your uh, post data and you can send it that way. So there, it makes it, this is very flexible. It, it makes it very simple for you to uh, send data to a REST endpoint with just a little bit of configuration.